getting. Oh, what a result. I'm so happy with that one. All right, guys, how are you all doing? Ah, oh, match review time. Southampton have just drawn two all against Manchester United, the most informed team in the league at the moment with a 96, 97th minute equaliser from a corner for Michael Obafemi. I mean, you just can't write it, can you? Um, really good result. Such a strong result and such a positive result. And deserved, you know. I think we didn't do enough to win and could have, could have lost this game quite easily. Um, but definitely a deserved point. Definitely a deserved point. Um, which doesn't do much for us in terms of the table, in terms of position. But... Leveling points with Everton, I think four points off the top half. I mean, could could we finally, put, you know, could we finish in the top half come the end of the season? Um, but it's going to do so much for our momentum as well in those final three games. I mean, I'm looking at those final three games and I can't see why we can't win them all. I, I, I'm sorry to be that confident, but I just can't. But let's break down the game. Um, yeah, it was a really good start, actually, from Saints. Really, really positive. The pressing was... Top class. I mean, to be honest, after such a good start, United should have gone ahead. I mean, it was an awful, awful slip from uh, Ward Prowse, Stephen Gerrard esque. But luckily, Martial was able to uh, basically give the ball to McCarthy. It was, a, it was a good stop. He came out very quick. They made himself big. And then Saints did take the lead and deservedly so. Stuart Armstrong at the back post after a nice little dink over um, the Man United defence from Nathan Redmond. I mean, he, he couldn't miss Armstrong, to be honest. Um, and I was a bit disappointed after that because the game turned really quickly. The first goal was really disappointing in terms of how we conceded um, five or six opportunities potentially to clear the ball um, or at least get it away to some extent. Um, Jack, Jack Stevens was quite poor with that one, I think. And uh, it was a good finish from Rashford in the end, who it fell to. And then pretty soon after that, a really good goal for Mar uh, Marshall into the top corner. Made it 2-1 and suddenly after such a great start, you, we find ourselves 2-1 down against the best team in the league right now. And you're thinking, God, like, what how we, what are we going to do? Um, you know, it could get worse. Um, typical Saints almost. And to be honest, we didn't really get ourselves back into the game in that half. I thought um, we were sort of second to everything a little bit. Kavanaugh's refereeing performance didn't really help. I mean... Um, yellow cards or fouls or he was missing fouls in our case sometimes um he didn't really have a good control or flow of the game but luckily we got into half time at 2-1 and that gives us an opportunity you know that gives us an opportunity to, to, well, to re, re, gather, uh, gather the troops a little bit um but yeah I'm I was happy enough with the start I just thought it was disappointing how the game came away from us a little bit um, sorry, by the way, for rubbing my eyes. I'm it's t I'm, I'm t it's late. I'm tired. Um, but the start the start to the second half was okay. I just thought that United looked pretty much in control. It was a pretty dead second half. Let's be honest. There weren't many chances at times. We'd get into a bit of space, but United defended pretty well. Uh, Rashford could have scored, and then <laughs> we get into sort of uh, around the 90th minute. Brandon Williams um, had a bad injury. Actually, I think it was a broken nose. A lot of blood on his face. So hopefully he's okay. Um, but it obviously gave us a lot of added time as well as a result. And then comes on Obafemi. We have a corner at the back post. Great flick on header from Bian Bedrick. And Obafemi's there at the back post to make it 2-2 two -two with literally just a minute to go. It's a deserved result. And, I mean, it's always it's always good to get a late-minute uh, goal to uh, get a result, especially on such a big stage against uh, such a good team at the moment. Um, so, like I said, it doesn't do much for us in terms of position in the table, but... We've got a very exciting final three games to come, which are going to come quickly. Uh, three games in two weeks. Um, obviously, Thursday, we've got Brighton. And then three days later, Sunday, we have to play Bournemouth. Um, we don't have to travel, though. That's a good thing. I mean, it's literally three South Coast games, two at home and one against Bournemouth. So maybe that's a positive for the fatigue. I don't know. Um, but I'm so happy with that. I, I, If you told me that we would have got five points from City, Everton and Man United, I, I would have laughed. To be honest with you, it's such a strong result. Um, I'm in a really good position. I'm so proud of this team, and trust me, I'm I'm confident to say that next season we're going to be doing bits. Sorry, it's a short match review. Sorry, it's a bit shaky on my phone, but I need to get it out asap because 
it, it's it's late I'm, i could do with a trip to bed right now but thank you so much for watching the video if you have enjoyed it leave it a like we've won uh sorry we, we've won it's felt it's felt like we won we've drawn two all against man united so i think you should give it a like let me know what you thought of the game in the comment section below subscribe if you haven't yet already with your notifications turned on follow us on our socials and we'll see you we'll see you tomorrow actually because there will be a preview for brighton against saints so see you then